Okay, guys, so we are back with this and we have gone in. We have created a number of expressions here. Uh, normally, you want to have around 20. Right now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in here. There should be enough <coughs> to start this going. And we're now going to go in and we're going to start tagging our entities in here. So what is an entity? An entity is some information that we want to extract from the unstructured thing that someone says, like, how do I create a new password? And we want to be able to have the system recognize that some, what information is actually relevant. We don't need to tag all the information, just what we want to get out of it. So we're going to start with this first one down here. How do I change my password? And what we're going to do is this, is we're going to select change, and this is going to be our action. And password is going to, in this case, be our um, profile item. So now you see that, this is, that the red is action, and profile item is password. This right here is going to be our action. And this is going to be our, we're going to select that like that, just drag and select it. And we're going to say our profile item, real straightforward. I want to change my email. So again, change is our action. Email is our profile item. Now this is a little different. This is not about them having an action with an item. In, in fact, now my password isn't working it is a statement and it's actually a different kind of thing. This is them asserting, making an assertion that something is not working. I want to change my email is a command. My password isn't working is an assertion. So again, this right here is still our profile item and this we're going to make our problem. And see how that now has tagged that differently. I need to change my billing address. This right here is going to be our action. And billing address is going to be our address. Or we're actually sorry, this is going to be our profile item. And that could be whatever you want. I mean, I'm just making these up. That could be, um, you know, if you have, let's say, a billing, mailing, and shipping address, billing address could be an address type. In this case, it's a profile item. Now, next one here, where do I find my billing information? This is asking a question and it's looking for a location, not of a place like, you know, you know, my house or New York City, but a location that is somewhere within, let's say, the app or the website. So where do I find my billing information? So find is action. Billing information is our profile item. And there's another part of this where we can create what are what are called simile pools or simile gazettes, which is a more advanced thing. Uh, if you are a uh, agency or an enterprise client of Motion, uh, we can go in and we can explain that to you, but it basically allows us to manually go in and create a record of words that basically mean the same thing. In this case, we're not going to do that. So my password is being rejected. This right here is our profile item. And this right here is our problem. There we go. I can't log in. This right here is a problem. I want to update my credit card info. Update is our action. Credit card info is our profile item. How do I create a new password? Now, if you notice here, it recognizes, I didn't do this, that number, uh, that means one. And that's fine, and I'll show you where that comes through. But again, create action, profile item. And can I use a different email? Use action, different email, profile item. There we go. So just based on that right here, let's go in and test some of these. 
How can I change my password? This may or may not work. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. It recognized profile settings as our intent. The action is change and the profile item is password. And if you notice, we have very high levels of confidence here. And I'll show you where this comes in, that these are correct. But let's look at the other information that we have here. This is the object that gets returned by our NLP engine uh, via the API call that we use to do that. This is available in a Node.js uh, um, object or the, the JSON object that is returned to a Node.js uh, module if you want that that way. So in this case here, let's just see what we have. Now, we have our source. This is what was said. And then we have this array here of intents. In this case, it, we only have one trained in. It's profile settings. It's 99% confident that that is the case. Here under ACT, which is essentially action type, you'll notice it says WH query. A WH query means that it is a question that is either who, what, where, when, why, or how. WH, either starts with a W or an H, and it's looking for that. The type is asking for a description of a manner. And what that means is the answer to how can I change my password would actually be a description in what is the manner of action that you have to take in order to complete that requested action. Therefore, we know that. Now, where does this come into play? I'll show you this in a later video, but basically what this does is this is telling you as a hint what kind of an answer you should be giving. Now, here's where this comes into play. If I had said, I want to change my password, that would be an assertion, not a WH query. If I said, how can I change my password? You're going to answer that differently than I want to change my password. How can I change my password would be something like, well, here's how to do it. Step one, step two, step three. I want to change my password might get answered with, okay, then let's go ahead and change your password. One is giving you a process. One is, is acknowledging and allowing you to do something. Down here, we are then seeing these custom entities that we created here, action, the value that it extracted, and then profile item and the value that it extracted. And then of course the language, processing language, timestamp, and it was okay. Let's go test a different one here. Now, if we look at our training, here's one. How can I use a different email? That's fine. We don't have it in here. How can I use a different login? Let's see if it picks that up. We never trained it for the word login, so let's see if it picks it up. How can I change my login? If you noticed, without having it, having it trained on that, how can I change my login never exists in this list of samples here, yet it recognized at a 90% confidence level that login is a profile item and that our action is change. Again, down here, nothing changed. Now, if I said, um, uh, let's see, what is, um, I want to change my password. Here, as I said, I want to change my password is, as it has an ACT of assert or assertion. And that right there means that I'm essentially saying a statement versus asking a question or giving a command. If I say change my password, now we are giving it a command and that when, so each of those, how can I change my password? I want to change my password and change my password. All are different. One is a question, one is a statement or an assertion, and one is a command. And you would be able to handle those differently within your bot. That right there is the basics of how you create your custom entities. Uh, in the next video, we are going to show how we can use those uh, in some basic connections and how we can build that out from there. For now, keep on building your bots. Uh, hopefully this made some sense for you. And uh, there, there'll be some other videos that we're gonna be putting out on some of the specifics and some of the more advanced information that you can glean from this. 
and some other real world use cases. But for right now, this should get you on the road to tr properly training your NLP intents, expressions, and entities. One thing, and I'm going to do one more video on this, of how not to train the NLP engine um, because you will not have it working right. We'll do that in the next video. But for right now, guys, you should be all set from there. If you have any questions, reach out to us on Slack. Or if you are a large plan or higher, you can reach out to us in the help ticket system. Guys, have a great day and uh, go build those bots.